Welcome to One Mind Zen. Tonight's Dharma talk is given by Briar Hengdahl Windwalker. All right. So, the great eternal question, why? That's what fills our minds up. That's what complicates us. That's our, our seeking mind trying to understand. So the parable, a monk is crossing a field and a tiger takes notice of him and starts chasing him. And so the monk runs away, running away from the tiger. And he runs up to a cliff face and with no place else to go, he grabs hold of wild vines hanging on the cliff face and swings himself down over the cliff face, hanging onto the vines. And the tiger is up above and looking down below, there is another tiger circling below the cliff and hanging there on the vines, two little mice, a white one and a black one start poking out of holes in the rock and chewing away at the vines. And hanging there onto the vines as they're being chewed with one hand, he reaches over with the other and plucks a wild strawberry and eats it. Now, if this doesn't resonate, we can adapt the story. If you like more of a medieval version, you could be in a castle if you like, and there are wolves chasing you and imps are removing the, the hinge pins on the doors they're trying to bolt. And maybe it's a turkey leg and a flagon of wine. For me, probably hanging there, there's, there's also a monkey throwing coconuts at my head as I'm trying to pick the strawberry. And this parable gets talked about a lot and obviously the point is the correct action, the action that takes place in the moment, the action irregardless of the circumstances. But why, and there's that word again, why is that so difficult? Why is that action so difficult? Well, it's because of the why. It's because this is part of what our mind tries to do with everything. The first question the child asks you is, what is that? What do you call it? and you give them the noun, and then they want why, they want the adjective, they want the description, they want the meaning, and we do that throughout all our lives, everything we do. Why? We're, we're sending tourists up into space now because we've answered all kinds of whys. That's what we do as humans. We seek the meaning, we seek the understanding, and understanding is an attempt to control the situation and the circumstances, answering all those why questions. So we control everything around us, everything in our environment, except ultimately we don't control near as much as we'd like to believe. No matter how many questions we try to answer or how many false answers we come up with in our minds, we don't control all the circumstances, the many streams of karma. And ultimately, it doesn't matter to our action. Ultimately, it doesn't matter if those two little mice are chewing on the vine because that's what they're eating for dinner or because they're offended by you being there on the cliff face and want you to drop. Ultimately, it doesn't matter if that tiger is chasing you because he's hungry or because he heard you called his sister ugly. For me, ultimately, it doesn't matter if the monkey is trying to hit me in the head with a coconut or just thinks maybe I'm hanging there with nothing to eat and I need a coconut. The situation is as it is and our mind trying to go through all these convolutions and all these revolutions to establish why doesn't change the situation as it is. But we're stuck 
in this this feedback cycle where we're still that philosophy 101 student we're still sitting in the coffee house at three o'clock in the morning with somebody that's been engaged in living through creative chemistry having the argument about the ultimate meaning of all things and the the universal aspect of god or Tao or om or whatever it is and trying to sort out that why and it's fun to have that discussion it's fun to engage in that game but when we seek this path and we sit with our actions with our thoughts with our minds there's no fooling ourselves ultimately we don't get the why, and it doesn't really matter if this is happening to me right now because three years ago on Thursday afternoon at 2.15 p.m., I swatted a mosquito. That's irrelevant to the subject at hand, which is just that, the subject at hand, and what we do with it and how we act upon it and how we act in this moment, which is the only moment we truly ever have. And we let the streams of the past and the streams of the future take care of themselves by letting go of the why and taking care of the moment. So let go of the why, eat a strawberry, and move on. <laughs>